welcome my subscribers uh, welcome today's in today's training we are going to discuss on how to produce peel paint metallic paint and the uh, swazili paint these three paints we are going to look into how to produce them peel scent some people call it peel scent some people call it peel understand we have metallic paint metallic gold do you understand? Oil based, not metal, metallic paints like in the car paints. This one, the water based paints, uh, pili scents, swazili, uh, metallic gold. These three paints. Now we are going to look into how to produce them. Please, if this is your first time of watching this video, click, don't forget to click on subscription button. Click on subscription button ring the bell for notification you know most people say they don't normally get my videos but when you do that when you click on that notification button you will receive notifications each time i post videos so don't forget to click on the notification button make sure you subscribe and become a subscriber of this channel you can as well become a youtube member you can join our membership program in our membership platform we have a lot of formulas a lot of you know for you to be a professional painter you need someone that will be mentoring you do you understand so in this training training i'm going to explain the materials needed for this paint production these three paints now i will list the materials you will get ready for me those materials you will get ready for me so first of all we are going to understand the word swazili peel peel scents or peel paint metallic paint we need to understand those paints those paints they look alike like paint uh, swazili and peel paint they are decorative paints with the effect of radiant crystals it's easily tinted in different shades you can tint them tint them in different shades it does not require additional protection from the moisture or dust materials you need to get ready for the practical training are as follows you need to get ready water 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 in this training water will add water acts as a as a solvent which form the base you need to get bamadol this serves as dispersant in the production we need to get ready natrosol natrosol will serve as the thickening agent you need to get the ammonia. Ammonia has double job. It acts as a catalyst and also controls the state of the pens. That is pH regulator. You have to produce you have to get ready texanol. This is a coalescence and it helps in the homogeneous mix and also enhance the properties of the pen, such as film formation and color stability. It also helps in the shining shining property of the paint you need to get the foam already it is used as anti-foaming agent to break down the foaming effects of surfactants your acrylic must be ready its work is to bind all the materials together and increase all adhesions and the scrub resistance of the paint bioxide formalin or anticide it is an ink can preservatives. I said ink can preservatives. Well, because when we say bioside is preservative, so people will think uh, when you is preservatives that when you paint it on the wall, that uh, algae or fungi will not grow on that wall. No, this bioside formalin antiseed antiseed is only protecting the paint. Is serving as a preservative inside the can, inside the bucket. It is a preservative that will increase the chef's life. How long you want your pen to stay at the store? That is the work of the bioxide. I understand? Then you need antifungi. Antifungi is the one that will protect the pen after use outside the can on the wall. That is the work of antifungi. Then you need gold or silver dust. This is a metallic water-based particle. Is a dust that comes in various colors then you need marble dust this is the texture forming and we will use it in a production of swazili paint you understand we also need bead metallic bead 
this metallic bead is the texture and the is the texture aid. It helps in giving the pen texture, the peel essence.